Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So on today's episode I decided to share with you a very easy recipe and that is going to be a baked turkey drumstick. So let me show you the ingredients. So here you're going to need some turkey drumsticks and I'm using two today. Usually we eat about one a person, maybe sometimes a little bit less depending on how many sides you have to go with your food. So you're also going to need just some regular olive oil some salt, pepper, garlic, cloves, and these are just peeled garlic cloves. I'm using about four larger ones here and a bunch of spices. So for this, I like to use ginger, paprika, rosemary, and I do use just the dry rosemary as well as an all purpose seasoning. And this is a seasoning that just has things like dry onion powder, celery root, thyme, parsley, just a bunch of different herbs in it. So that's all the ingredients. Like I said, it's very quick and easy to make, but the important part is turkey likes to be marinated. So people can do dry rub or you can soak it in a brine. So today I'm going to show you sort of like a dry rub that you can do on your turkey to get it flavorful for when you want to cook it. So these are just washed and you dry them with paper towel. Always when you cook turkey, try and make sure that it's dry as possible. You don't want it to be any moisture left. So just dry it with a paper towel on both sides. And first thing we want to do is you're going to take your turkey and you're going to take a little paring knife and you're going to make just slot cuts like this. Just down inside, not all the way through, but just going in. Just some cuts like this. And you can make these cuts on both ends as many as you like. You're going to be filling these cuts with garlic. So if you want a lot of garlicky flavor, you can make a lot of these slots or you can make a few. So you do that on both of the turkey drumsticks. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some olive oil and you're just going to pour some on top of your turkey. Turkey likes melted butter. You can use melted butter if you wish instead. You can use any kind of oil. And I do it for two reasons. Turkey likes this extra fat. And also because when you're putting spices on top, they stick better to the turkey. So just some oil and rub it all around. Of course, if you're making it for guests, good idea to wear some rubber gloves at this point, disposable ones. But I'm making it for myself, so we're good. Next thing you want to do is you want to take your salt and pepper. So you want to salt your turkey and salt it pretty well. It takes a lot of salt and it tastes really good when it's well salted. So just salt it all the way around. And now do the same thing with the black pepper. And then you want to rub in the salt and the pepper into your turkey drumsticks. And some of this pepper and salt will get into these slots. That's why I didn't fill the slots up with the garlic yet. And now the last step in preparation of this turkey, you're going to take the rest of these spices and you're going to just put them on top of your turkey. And now here what I do is all purpose seasoning. Well, I eyeball all this by using at least a teaspoon of this um, seasoning. So I'm going to, I just eyeball mine and you just want to kind of put it all around your turkey. And these are herbs, so don't worry. They will not be overpowering or anything. So do the all purpose seasoning. Rosemary. I like to put not a lot because I find that rosemary actually is pretty flavorful. So I don't do too much and I crush it a little bit and just put it like this. And like I said, not a lot like probably half teaspoon or even less for one of these drumsticks. But it's also personal preference. Some people really like rosemary and they put more, but I think it's pretty overpowering to me. Next thing you do, we're going to add a little bit of the dried ginger. Same thing here. I don't do a lot because I also find that ginger is very powerful in the taste. So I just do a little bit. About a half teaspoon for both of these legs. And the very last thing you want to do is paprika. And if you want, you can also use smoked paprika to give it a little bit of the smoky flavor. But I do like mine, just oven roasted without that smell. So I just use regular paprika. 
And paprika again, if you put quite a lot, it'll be completely fine. It's not overpowering to me, so just like that. So the next thing you want to do, you have two options. One, you can place them in a Ziploc bag, which is what I like to do, because then you throw out the bag and you don't have to worry about washing extra dishes. But what you can also do is you can just take a baking dish that you're going to use the next day to bake it in, and you can paste, place it into that baking dish, covered with some serene wrap, and place it in the fridge. So from here is what you want to do. Place it into a bag or a container or a baking dish. It is really up to you. And you want to leave it in the fridge. I'm going to say minimum two hours long. The best is to leave it overnight and then cook it the next day. So I'm just going to place mine in a Ziploc bag. And we're going to place it into the refrigerator. And this will help the turkey get flavorful inside out. Before I place it into a bag, sorry, I forgot most important part, the garlic. So what you want to do now is just take your garlic and cut it into some kind of smaller pieces that can fit into those slots. So I usually quarter my garlic and then quarter it some more. So I have these little chunks and you got to place those chunks into the turkey. And also I should say that if you have leftover garlic pieces like this, don't throw them out. Tomorrow when you're baking it or in three hours, you can just place it all around your turkey at the bottom. That also gives off extra flavor. So now just find the slots that you made and you're just going to insert these pieces into those slots. And do that into every slot that you've made. And after that, we're finally placing it into a bag or container and placing it into the fridge. Okay, everyone, and welcome back for part two. So now that your turkey has marinated and it's ready to go, what you want to do is take a baking dish, or if, you're, or if it's already in a baking dish, just remove your serene wrap. Now, if you're using a baking dish, I suggest you put some kind of a parchment paper on top so it's easier for cleanup and it doesn't stick to the bottom. You can also place a little like metal rack tray sort of underneath your turkey so it doesn't sit in the juices, but that's really up to you. So all you're gonna do, take some baking dish and if you do have a deep one, it's much better. That's what I have to deal with right now. So I'm just gonna take some parchment paper, take your turkey out of the bag and you're just gonna place it side by side just like that. You can always pour a little bit more olive oil over this right now if you wanted to, but really turkey will give off some fat while it's cooking. So the next thing you want to do is you want to cover this with foil. And the reason we do that is because it sits in the oven for a long time. So you don't want the skin to start to burn before the insides are ready. So for the first part, we're just going to take this and I'm gonna make sort of like a loose tent over this so the foil doesn't stick to the actual turkey, but it is covered so the skin doesn't burn right away. So just sort of something like this. Now you want your oven preheating to 400 degrees. You're gonna cook it for about an hour and 20 minutes after which you remove the foil and you're gonna cook 10 more minutes on broil. So total cooking time is about an hour and 30 minutes, give or take, depending on your oven, could be a little bit less. It should not be any more unless your legs are much bigger than mine. Um, also during the cooking process, it's a great idea to, to take off the foil and baste it with the juices that come out from the turkey and you just take them and pour them on top. So you can do that as much as you like every 20 minutes, about every 20 minutes, so maybe two times during the whole cooking process or two to three times. So now all I'm gonna do is place it into the oven, like I said, 400 degrees, hour and 20 minutes, followed by broil for 10 minutes without the foil. So that's when you get your skin to kind of crispy up a little bit and be golden and beautiful. So like always, once this is ready, I'll show you how it looks at the end. Okay, everyone, so the turkey drumsticks are ready now. So this is the up close, how they look. So these are roasted turkey drumsticks from the oven. So I cook them in total for hour and a half. So hour 20 minutes at 400. And for the last five, actually last five minutes, I just did it on broil, just to crispy up the skin and get them golden and nice color. So I hope you try and make this next time. Uh, leave me in the comments if you try them out, how you like them. And thank you so much for watching, like always, and I'll see you next time. Bye.